So last week we got our first look at the poster for the Child's Play reboot and it turned out instead of being a good guy doll, this time it's going to be called a buddy, which is like a full circle joke, I guess, because the original good guy doll, like the original Chucky was a riff on my buddy, which I guess was a toy in the 80s. So if you want to learn more about that, find an older horror YouTuber because that's like way before my time. I also thought it was weird that they decided to use the original logo for the movie instead of coming up with a newer one because they're trying to modernize this, make it more technologically advanced. Like it's not a voodoo serial killer soul inside a doll that's becoming human. It's just straight up like an AI doll that's way too smart and decides to start killing people. So it's weird that they're going with the exact same logo as the movie they're remaking. And they even went as far as to put a film grain over it. So it's a weird choice, but I kind of like it. Another thing I've been wondering for a while is what they're going to name this doll. So the original Collider report said that they didn't think it would be called Chucky. And that's because there's really no reason for it to be called Chucky. I think the original doll his name was Tommy and then Charles Lee Ray put his soul into the doll so he changed its name to Chucky. And I also saw people saying that they thought the doll's name was going to be Buddy based on the box and it's like, no, it's a good guy doll named Chucky so it would stand to reason that this is a Buddy doll named something else. So John Squires of Bloody Disgusting reached out to MGM and they confirmed that yes, this doll will be called Chucky. As far as a narrative reason for this doll to be named Chucky, what I'm thinking is that since it's a technologically advanced AI doll, that once you get it, you'll be able to name it and it has voice recognition. So once you name it, if you're a kid, it'll remember the name you give it and it will spit it back to you or respond to it. So obviously what I think is Andy is going to get the doll from his mom for a birthday or Christmas present or something. And he's going to name it Chucky and then look directly into the camera with just dead silence for 10 seconds. It's going to zoom in on his face like this. And as for why the doll will start killing because we don't have the serial killer soul driving its murderous plot forward, what I'm thinking is the doll's prime directive or whatever will be, be this child's best friend. But once it's hacked, those limitations will be taken off and it'll become sort of corrupt and say anything that stands between me and my best friend Andy needs to die. So that's why it'll start killing his mom, killing his babysitter, killing his friends, etc. So the rumor I've heard is that a Chinese factory worker is going to hack the doll, take its limiters off, and then jump off the roof of the building that he works at. And not only is that a little racially insensitive, if you ask me, I just never seen that confirmed by anyone legitimate. And I don't know where that rumor started. So I'm not going to put too much stock in that. But if they are going with that, I guess it could be like Henry Caslin, the guy who owns the company that makes this doll is overworking this Chinese factory, trying to get as many dolls made as he can to sell. And then the Chinese workers are going to get upset and revolt and then hack the doll. It's it's kind of dumb. I really hope they don't go with that. And on top of that, something else that's really bothering me is that we're losing this narrative element where the longer Charles Lee Ray kept his soul in the doll's body, the more human it would become. That was a really cool angle because it gave the villain stakes to get more and more crazy and kill more and more people because he doesn't want to get trapped in this doll's body because it's disgusting. It's really cool when the doll gets kind of messed up and you see it bleeding and it has, you know, like muscles and sinew growing under that weird rubbery doll skin. I always thought that was a really cool angle and it gave the villain stakes but now it's just an AI doll that's smart and decides to kill people it's just what are the stakes for the doll really other than it's a strong smart doll really we're at the point right now where we have so many questions that need to be answered because of how this movie is fitting into the timeline whether or not it's even related to the first child's play and all that and we really just need a trailer to hopefully answer some of those questions and I really don't think it can be too far off and to be fair we did get a poster for Halloween way before we we got a trailer but I think this child's play reboot is a little less a little less hyped I would say I don't think people are nearly as excited for this as they were the return of Halloween so hopefully we get a trailer before the end of the year I do want to point out that it is really cool that MGM is bringing back the Orion banner that was always something I really liked seeing before Robocop and I thought it was awesome when I saw it before the Belko experiment because I didn't even know that MGM brought Orion back they're also going to be putting out and in the apocalypse under the Orion banner later this year and that feels like a modern version version of what would have been under that banner back in the 80s and I think that's really cool but you guys got to remember that MGM is also putting out Robocop the official sequel that was written and never produced from Neil Blomkamp and that's awesome because that's going to be under the Orion banner as well so that's that's a really cool thing they're doing the only thing that's still bothering me is the fact that we have this other child's play franchise going on and I honestly think people would be way more excited myself included for this new child's play movie if we didn't have to worry about Don Mancini with his directed DVD franchise and TV show coming out because as much as I hate that story it's not really a fair fight he's going up against a theatrical movie with a pretty sizable 
budget and big actors like Aubrey Plaza and all he has again is a TV show and a directed DVD movie series which is going in a terrible direction story wise if you ask me. I feel bad for him. I wish he'd have a chance to finish that out like MGM was like hey finish out your timeline because we're gonna start our own or just give them some advance warning. But that doesn't seem to be what they're doing. And I hope just something happens uh, down the line where things can you know, get sorted out. I don't really know how they could, but it's just companies fighting with each other and someone who really cares about the franchise that he's been working on for most of his life is getting screwed in the process. Definitely let me know what you think about the doll being named Chucky down in the comments below. I'm definitely gonna keep covering this movie because you guys seem interested in it. And I just, again, it's just a weird, scenario that we have so it's kind of fun to talk about. I hope you like that this video is more off the cuff as well. I tried scripting it a little less than I usually do so let me know what you thought of the video style down there as well. Anyways guys subscribe if you're not already. My name is Jimmy Champagne and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.